Good morning. This is a second vid from our visit to North Norfolk and today we're visiting the interestingly named Wells Next the Sea. The town isn't exactly next to the sea as it lies about a mile from the coast but the tidal water flows up to the town quayside. The car park is behind the beach with a long walk into the town. You'll see from the clothes people are wearing that today isn't beach weather even though it's towards the end of May. This is low tide at the moment. As we near the town, we can see a horse sculpture across the water. This is called the Lifeboat Horse and was sculpted by local artist Rachel Long. It's made of steel bars and old whiskey barrels and it's located on the harbour sand so that it's fully visible at low tide and then becomes submerged as a tide comes in. It was created as a tribute to the horses that once pulled the town's lifeboat. I think it's a wonderful piece of art. Fishing and tourism are two of the main industries here now. This distinctive landmark on the quayside is the granary with its overhanging gantry on the quay, built in 1905. Like so many old industrial buildings, this is now being converted into flats. You can't have a seaside resort without seaside rock or a fish and chip shop. Now we've arrived at Staith Street. We're going to have a wander up here and back. Just take a look at some of the marvellous shops along the street. It's a bit like stepping back in time. Here we are back at the quayside now, some crab and lobster pots here. The tide's coming in.
We'll catch the train back to the car park. And here it is. Just need to turn the engine around for the trip back. The train takes us up to the outer harbour area where the car's parked. Another important industry here is support for the wind farms out to sea. These boats take the engineers out to the turbines offshore. The crane here is mounted on a boat and used to dredge the channel from the town up to the coast. Here's the lifeboat station. No horses needed now to pull the boat. High tide at three in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. It's one o'clock now, so the tide is coming in. I said at the beginning of the vid that this wasn't a day to go to the beach. But if you did go, you might see one of these. If you haven't subscribed, please help our channel to grow by subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. I'd be really grateful. Thanks for watching.